All right, how's it going, guys? This is RX Fox, and we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to get a PSX or PlayStation One emulator up and running. First thing you need to do, jump on your browser. I use Firefox. You can go over here to the Emulator Zone because they always have the best and most current emulators. Go over to Sony PlayStation. Down here, the top-rated one, EPSXE. I've used it before, it works pretty well, and here recently it actually works a lot better. Over here, get the EXE itself, the newest one. We're going to open that with WinRAR. Here's all the files you need right here. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to run over here to the folder we're going to use for this, which I've already extracted into the games folder. I extracted all the shit in this folder. Okay, this is, it does not have an installer. It's a standalone type thing. It just runs from the folder. You can create your own bullshit little shortcut and throw it on the desktop, whatever. But it does not come with the BIOS. That's one issue that you're going to have to deal with first. And a lot of noobs probably fail at that. Anywho, go over here to the MU Asylum. I'll provide you with the link. Go down here to PlayStation BIOS. Open with WinRAR. We got this shit right here. I already got it open somewhere else. Alright, so what we're going to do is drag all these into the BIOS folder. That's all the BIOS, all the PAL and TSC bullshit you'll never use besides one or two. Now, there are a lot of other optional plugins as far as graphics plugins and other things go. Here recently, though, the program works a lot better just by default to me, or at least on my PC. If it doesn't for you, go back to ME Asylum and ask them for help because I don't give a shit. So, we got our BIOS going, but we're going to need one more thing, which is Lib1DLL. I don't know why they don't throw it in there, but they definitely don't. So, went over here to Google, Lib1.DLL. Click the first link. I'll provide that link as well down here avoid all their spam bullshit open that with WinRAR and we're gonna throw that right in there just in the general directory here and fire it up there you go we got this thing running so I have ISOs you can use CD-ROMs you can run your PlayStation games directly from your drive I don't have any so I don't do that we run ISO. Got to browse where it is. Got Mega Man 8 right here. Fire this shit up. A little slow starting. And there you go. You got Mega Man 8. You got PlayStation Emulator, bitches. Play your shit. Let it run just for a second to give you an idea of what it looks like. You know, it does run at perfect speed for me. I've got a high-end PC, but I really don't think it has that much to do with it. I've already got the controller config, so you'll figure that out yourself. It's not that hard. Woo! Uh, I don't have a frame rate, I don't have fraps going, so I can't show you the frame rate. But I guarantee you it's decent, that's for sure. Skip the movies, we need gameplay footage. And we're good, everything's up to speed, no lag. Everything's working out pretty great. So, I'm gonna play Mega Man, fuck you guys.